In this video I'm going to show you some of the demo apps and mashups that we had built with Lively for QT. And let me first make some more space here. We don't need the object inspector right now, so let me just close that guy. Right clicking or double clicking the background. Say remove the web browser window, we don't really need it right now. Uh, and also the calendar, I'll just put it there. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm basically clicking the background of the world or the window and I get the menu that contains the object types that I can create. And you'll notice that one of the items here in the world menu is called applications and mashups and this is where we have some of the demo apps that we have built. And let me start with one of these guys. Some of them are games, some of them are map-based mashups. Uh, let me start with one of the map-based systems. This is kind of interesting. Uh, it's a Google Maps application. I'm just creating it here. So it'll load a map of Finland. It'll take a while because it's going on a slow network connection. We make it a little bigger. So now we have the map there. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm basically clicking on two locations on the map. Uh, this is where we are located here in Tampere. And I'm clicking also on another city called Kuopio. And what the system is doing, it's now talking with the Google Map API to calculate the optimal route between those two locations. Yeah, this is pretty familiar stuff. So you, you get a Google Map that uh, gives you a description of the optimal route, driving time about 4 hours, 20 minutes. And you can interactively manipulate the map the usual way. Uh, unfortunately, the network connection is rather slow, so it takes a while to update the map. Uh, but the, the, the neat thing about this application is that in addition to the Google Maps API, it's also talking to the Finnish uh, road administration that has a lot of uh, live road weather cameras all over the highways in Finland. And while it was calculating the optimal route, it also uh, got the information about the locations of the weather cameras. Uh, and if I click on any of these links here, I can get a translucent image uh, of a live image of the uh, weather camera that's available in that location. And in addition to the live weather camera picture, I also get the, the temperature information. So this is in Finnish, so you won't understand much of it. Uh, Ilma means that's the air temperature, that's the road surface temperature, and these are basically the rain, general weather conditions. And again, I could click on these other links, uh, other markers on the map, to get uh, live images from each each location. Well, for some reason that guy is basically blank, but let's see if these other places work. So there's an image uh, near the city of Kuopio in central Finland. And of course this is, this, this is uh, running in, inside the lively environment. Uh, all these applications, including this one, they basically follow the same principles. You can sc scale things as you wish, uh, or you can rotate structures and the application would still work just fine so if I click on any of these things it would gradually get the uh, updated image and of course I could put, put it back the way it was uh, reset all the transformations anyway that's one one of the applications uh, let me collapse well let's keep it around anyway it doesn't matter uh, I'll show you some other applications uh, the next we'll take another map-based application here. This is called Map News, and it's also based on Google Maps. And what's different about this application is that it basically has an, uh, a parser to read geotagged uh, feeds from all over the world, and we have a number of feeds here uh, listed in this uh, three Q3 widget uh, structure here. So, for instance, the first one is basically a link that contains uh, a summary of the earthquakes, the earthquakes from the past seven days over magnitude five. So, if I click on that guy, again, it'll take a while, but it will basically give me the locations of those earthquakes. 
and then if I click on any of these guys here I get further information about that specific earthquake and now what's neat about this particular application is that uh, this application actually utilizes the Q web view component uh, to show further information using a web browser so if I click on this link here it will open an embedded web browser view inside this application which obtains the web page containing information about that particular earthquake from the US Geological Survey website and as you can see this is a full-fledged web browser so if you want to get uh, information in, in Spanish you can click the link here and you get further information so now the page is in Spanish and all the links are, are fully alive and again this application follows the same uh, general principles of the lively system so you could basically running run it in arbitrary transformations rotation sharing scaling so on and so on so anyway showing some of these other geotag feeds this one is neat uh, there's a geotag feed that contains information about the last 100 emergencies in finland yeah now i need to go back to the map view to get that information it will take a while, but anyway, now we'll click on that link again. So now this is map of Finland. Now this looks horrible because you have so many accidents here. Uh, anyway, I need to zoom in to so get a better view, and let me, let me make it much bigger. So this is now map of Finland. Let's move to some place that's closer to where we are located. Now I should be seeing some of these markers. Well, here's one. Um, that's it's going to display information that's basically in, again in Finnish. Uh, there's some another accident there. There's another one here. Uh, road accident, small near the city of Koko. And but anyway, you get the basic idea. Likewise, you can get uh, geotag news from various news services like CNN or, or Yahoo. Uh, but in this case I'm just going to move on to some other applications so let me open well there's some fairly basic stuff like this is a BBC weather widget that obtains latest weather information and weather forecast information from the BBC weather forecast service uh, I don't really need that so I'll just make it smaller and keep it small uh, there's another one, another application. Let me open this one. This is, uh, well, let's take the comics application. That's pretty neat. Basically, displays cartoons from all over the world based on your favorites. And you can define when the application starts. You can start, you can basically define a list of favorite cartoons and they will get displayed in this combo box here well billboard would be more familiar to people outside Finland so I'll just show you the latest billboard comic from today It'll take a while to load anyway there it is and what else have we 